Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be dealing with a golden radical. Why did I call it golden? We're going to find out in a little bit. Let's get started. We have the square root of x minus the square root of x minus the square root of x, so on and so forth, equals the square root of 1 plus the square root of 1 plus the square root of 1 plus dot dot dot. Goes on forever and we're going to be solving for x. So we kind of have like two infinite radicals on both sides and we're going to be solving for x. So let's start by using some substitution. So I'm going to call this expression a. Let's go ahead and call this expression a. And then from here we're going to be getting something nice. So what is that supposed to mean when you call and don't focus on the x yet, I would like to focus on this first. So when you call something like this, it basically contains itself. This is one of these interesting things we talked about infinite fractions before, nested radicals, stuff like this, they basically contain themselves. So if the whole thing is called a, then I can just square both sides, let's go ahead and do it. And if we do, then we get something like this, one plus square root of one plus the square root of one plus dot dot dot, and the right hand side is just going to be a squared. Of course, when we square both sides, we gotta be careful because we may introduce extraneous roots. But notice that this expression is also the same as a. So we get a quadratic equation from here. Later on, I'm gonna talk about the golden aspect of this and we'll get into details. But this is the equation that I'm getting. It's easy to solve, get everything on the same side and use the quadratic formula. It's not factorable. The solutions are not gonna be nice. Actually, they're gonna be very nice because we'll talk about it later. Let's proceed. So if you write the quadratic formula, negative b1 plus minus the square root of b squared 1 minus 4 times negative 1, which is positive 4. Okay, great. Now, I get two solutions from here, as you know. One of them is going to be a is either 1 plus root 5 over 2, or a is 1 minus root 5 over 2. Unfortunately, maybe fortunately, who knows? The second solution is less than zero. Why? Because root five is greater than one. And notice that our original expression is the square root of one plus the square root of one. And you can safely say that this expression is greater than one, right? So that's definitely positive. So negative solutions are not allowed. Let's forget about it. So this is the only solution we get for our a value. And now you can tell why I call this a golden radical because this gives us a really nice number. So 1 plus root 5 over 2 is known as golden ratio. And we can assign a Greek letter to it, which is phi. And phi is basically is simply an irrational number like pi, but one with many unusual mathematical properties. W what kind of properties do they have? I mean, does this number have? We'll talk about it. But unlike pi, which is a transcendental number, phi is an algebraic number, which means it is the solution to a polynomial equation, which we just found out, right? This is the polynomial whose one of, the, one of the solutions is the golden ratio. Now, what is so special about the golden ratio? Well, golden ratio can be constructed using some geometry. So if you have a line segment, you can divide it up into two pieces. Okay, and let's call these lengths, you know, something like maybe x and y, right? And assume that x is greater than y. So we have a line segment that we can divide. But this is, we're doing this in a special way such that the ratio of the larger piece to the smaller piece is equal to the ratio of the whole thing to the larger piece. And guess what? This ratio gives you the golden ratio, which is 1 plus root 5 over 2. And you can easily evaluate this because you're going to end up with a quadratic equation. A lot of other properties that the golden ratio has, they've written books, they've written so many articles on golden ratio. I'll, I'm going to share uh, some links, maybe just one that I really like, and you can just go ahead and read more about it if you're interested. Let's go ahead and solve the rest of this problem. So I got this. Now, what is that supposed to mean? Well, I got this golden ratio here as a result. So A is golden ratio, which I can call phi now, but I have X on the left-hand side. Let's go ahead and proceed with that one. So I have the square root of X 
minus the square root of x minus dot 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 goes on forever and now we know that this is equal to phi okay now how can i find x from here exactly the same way that you did find the golden ratio so what am i going to do well i'm going to square both sides that's going to give me the following you know i can just add another one to make it look like the original and now this gives me phi squared and notice that the expression under the radical is nothing but phi. So this is phi. And from here we get x minus phi equals phi squared. x equals phi squared plus phi. Okay, great. So now you can replace phi with what it is, which is 1 plus root 5 over 2. So it's going to look like the following. 1 plus root 5 over 2 quantity squared plus 1 plus root 5 over over 2. Let's go ahead and simplify this and that's going to give us the x value and that's going to look like the following. If you square the top you're going to get 1 plus 2 root 5 plus 5. The bottom is going to be 4 and then I can just write it as 1 plus root 5 over 2. Now in this case you don't need to make a common denominator. I mean if you want you can but I'll just simplify this because this gives me 6 plus 2 root 5. If you divide everything by 2 you get 3 plus root 5. And then the other expression gives me 1 plus root 5, now they have a common denominator, which is 2, and I can simplify this, write it as 4 plus 2 root 5 over 2, and this can be written as 2 plus root 5. Great. So this is phi squared plus phi, but notice that it can be also written as 2 phi plus 1 at the same time. So this is phi squared plus phi, but at the same time 2 phi plus 1, why? Because phi squared plus phi is equal to 2 phi plus 1 because phi squared is equal to phi plus 1. So that's kind of interesting. Another thing that's pretty interesting about the golden ratio, if you don't mind me talking about it, maybe for another minute, is that you can actually expand powers of phi and you're going to get some interesting results. For example, if phi squared is equal to phi plus 1, what is phi cubed, right? Phi cubed can be written as phi squared times phi and phi squared can be always replaced with phi plus 1 and just go ahead and reply, uh, I mean multiply it by phi, that's you're going to get phi squared plus phi, which is what we had here, right? And that is going to equal 2 phi plus 1. So in other words, phi cubed can be written as 2 phi plus 1. Let's go ahead and do this. Phi to the fourth power, I'm just going to do maybe one more and then we'll stop. Uh, this can be written as phi cubed times phi. Phi cubed can be written as 2 phi plus 1 multiplied by phi and you're going to get phi to the fourth power is equal to 2 phi squared plus phi, but phi squared can be replaced with phi plus 1. There you go. And I'm going to replace it with phi plus 1 plus phi. Phi to the fourth power can be written as 2 phi plus phi, which is 3 phi plus 2. And you kind of get like something interesting from here, powers of phi, if you look at the coefficient, and you can just keep expanding, but you're going to notice that you get 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 5, 8, so on and so forth. And guess what? Those are very special numbers. Let me not tell you what it is you can find for yourself. If not, please write it in the comments and I will talk about it. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.